Hey, welcome back to Base Grade. In this video, we're going to be doing the age old problem, the age word problems. Like these ones here. Right, anyway, let's go and ask some people how old they are. You know what? I found someone. Let's ask them how old he is. How old are they? I'm not telling you how old they are. No, Come on. Private. How could you do that? I'm a cheek. I don't even know you. You what? All right, all right. Okay, listen. Go listen, then. work it out yourself. I'm 20 years older than my son. Okay, all right. And in two years' time, I'll be twice his age. Okay, so you're 20 years older than your son, and in two years' time, you'll be twice his age. Let's work it out. We start off by doing a table of values. Now, I need the time because we're dealing with the present and the future. So we're looking at the son's age and we're looking at the father's age. So remember, he's currently 20 years older than his son. So at present, let's agree that the son's age is X. That means the father, this gentleman here, is going to be X plus 20 because he's 20 years older than his son. Now remember what he said. He said in two years time, which is the future, he will be twice as old as his son. So in two years time, his son will be X plus 2. And the father will be x plus 20 plus 2. Because remember, we're going two years into the future. So that's why we've got the plus 2 here and the plus 2 here. Two years into the future. So what we can do is we can use that information to set up some of our equations. Before we write the equations, here's a little tip. Two £5 notes are equal to one £10 note. So the same way, two times the son's age is equal to one times the father's age. So here we have... 2 times x plus 2, which is the son's age, twice the son's age, is equal to 1 times the father's age, which is x plus 20 plus 2. Okay, let's start solving our equations. We can do 2 times x plus 2 is equal to x plus 20 plus 2. We're going to use the distributive law to expand the brackets. So we have 2 times x plus 4, and that's equal to x plus 20 plus 2. So now we need to do a little bit of rearranging. So I'm going to minus x on both sides. That means that I can eliminate that x, which leaves me with just 1x. Okay, now on my left-hand side, I have a 4. I can minus 4 on both sides. That's going to help me cancel out the 4 on the left-hand side. And it's going to make 20 plus 2 minus the 4, which is 18. Okay, so the 18 represents the sun's age at present which means x plus 20, so 18 plus 20, is going to be the father's age. So this guy here is 38 years old. Woohoo! Let's find someone else. Hey, I found someone else busy at work. Let's go and bug them. Do you mind if I ask you how old you are? You can't ask a lady how old she is. No, 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 Mr. Bird. But if you want to figure it out, I'm three times my daughter's age. And five years ago, the age of my daughter was one-sixth of her father's age. And if her father is five years older than me, go figure it out. Okay, we'll figure it out. So you're three times your daughter's age. And five years ago, your daughter was one-sixth her father's age. And your husband is five years older than you. Right, I think we've got this one. Let's start with our table. We're going to say when, which is the same as time. So we have the daughter, the mother and the father. So at present, let's agree that we'll represent the daughter's age as X. And remember that the mother was three times her daughter's age. So 3X. And her husband was five years older than her, which is 3X plus five. Now in the past, because the question says five years ago, the daughter's age was x minus 5, 5 years ago, so 5 years in the past. Of course, that means that the mother's age was 3x minus 5, also 5 years ago. And the father's age would be 3x plus 5 minus 5, because it's 5 years ago. But wait, we have more information. We know that 5 years ago, that the daughter's age was equal to 1 6 of her father's age. So, if we take one-sixth of the father's age five years ago, it's equal to her age. Okay, let's set up some equations. So, we know that x minus 5 is equal to one-sixth of 3x plus 5 minus 5. Here we can cancel out the 5s and we have one-sixth of 3x. So, don't worry about this fraction one-sixth because we can write it as 3x over 6. And then that makes it nice and easy for us to see that if we multiply both sides by 6, 
we can cancel out the sixes on the right hand side and we can get six times x which is six x and then six times minus five which is minus 30 is equal to three x so in order to get rid of this negative 30 i can add 30 to both sides balancing the equation now that allows me to cancel out the 30 on the left hand side leaving me with 6x is equal to 3x plus 30. What do you think I'm going to do next? Of course, I'm going to minus 3x on both sides. That's going to allow me to cancel out the 3x on the right hand side, which leaves me with 6x minus 3x equals to 30. And then finally, 6x minus 3x gives me 3x and 3x is equal to 30. Now I could just divide both sides by 3. That cancels out the 3 on the left hand side. And if I simplify the right hand side, I can get 3 into 3 is 1 and 3 into 30 is 10, which leaves me with x is equal to 10. So remember that x represents the daughter's age, the mother is 3 times her daughter's age, and so therefore the mother is 30 years old. Woohoo, we've done it again! Right, come on in, I've found the next target. Yeah. Do you mind if I ask you how old you are? No. You can work it out. I'm twice my son's age and six years older than my wife and my daughter is three-fifths her mum's age and two years older than her brother so work that one out come on let's work it out so you're twice your son's age six years older than your wife your daughter is three-fifths of her mother's age and two years older than her brother i think we've got it so you know how we're going to do this, we're going to do a table of values. Now remember we've got four people in this one, so let's make it super easy. We have the son, the father, the daughter and the mother. All we need to do is follow the instructions in the question. So we can start off by saying that we agreed that the son's age is X. And remember the father is twice his son's age, so he's going to be 2X. Now the mother we can call Y because we don't know how old the mother is but we do know that the daughter is three-fifths of her mother's age so three-fifths of Y. But wait! We also know that the daughter is two years older than her brother so that's going to be X plus two. In addition we know that this gentleman is six years older than his wife so she's going to be 2X minus six. Remember she's six years younger than him and his age is 2x, so she's going to be 2x minus 6. Okay, let's use that information to set up some equations. So if we look at the table, we know that the daughter's age is 3 fifths of her mother's age, and she also is 2 years older than her brother. So we can say then that 3 fifths of y is also equal to x plus 2. And we know that the mother's y as well as 2x minus 6. So we can set that equation up, y is equal to 2x minus 6. Since we have two variables, an x and a y, we're going to eliminate one of those. So we've got 3 fifths and instead of writing this y, we're going to substitute it with this. So we can substitute 2x minus 6 for y and that's equal to x plus 2. Now 3 fifths can also be written as 3 over 5. Now that's nice because we can take this 5 and we can multiply it by both sides in which case this 5 cancels out and on the right hand side we end up getting 5 times x plus 2. All we need to do now is expand the brackets. So we have 3 times 2x, 6x, 3 times minus 6 minus 18 and on the right hand side we have 5 times x, 5x and then 5 times 2, 10. We're super close now. Okay, so to get rid of this 18, I'm going to add 18 to both sides. That's going to allow me to cancel out minus 18 plus 18, like so. And I have 10 plus 18, which is 28. Now I'm going to minus 5 from both sides. So I end up getting 6x minus x, which is 1x. And then this cancels out like so. And I have x is equal to 28. Woohoo! Now remember, x is the son's age. So the son is 28 years old. And we know, therefore, that the father is two times his son's age, which is 56 years old. 
Hey, I really enjoyed making this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. It really does help the channel grow. Consider subscribing because I've got a whole bunch of math videos to help you in your studies. And I'll throw up a couple of more questions of this style uh, and you can check the answers in the description below. As always, I'll see you in the next one.